Hello people of the internet, it's been another video! Woo! Yay! Congratulations, it's another video. So, you read the title, yep, it's time for another clothing haul. Who would have thought it? I tell myself, I say it, Ellie, that's enough. No more shopping for clothes, you've got enough in your dang wardrobe, and yet here I am, buying more clothes. So, basically what happened was, Black Friday, I don't... I mean, in the UK, the Black Friday isn't really a kind of thing. We don't have Thanksgiving, therefore we don't really have Black Friday. Some companies will try to do a Black Friday deal, <laughs> but it will be like, save £3. And you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> and it's like not, it's not like how it is in America. In America, it seems very like you're fighting over a microphone. Microphone, I meant microwave. <laughs> fighting over white goods and stuff and getting to the shops really early. But we don't really have any good deals on. Maybe like one discount code. I remember when I started working at the catalog shop. You wanna hear about that? You can, I'll link it somewhere. I did a video about my times working in retail and the terrible stories I have. But I remember one day when I was working there, the point I'm trying to make is that they big Black Friday up like, Ellie, it's gonna be insane. I had to work from like nine till nine that day. And they said, it's gonna be a really busy day. You're gonna be on your feet all day. You're only gonna have like a 10 minute break or something. And I was like, all right, that's a bit mental, but sure. They're gonna be queuing out the door. It's gonna be chaos. I had these like sweets, so I'd hand out sweets to like families if they were waiting for hours and it got to the day on Black Friday and then flipping one guy came in when the door opened one bloke on his own and brought like five tablets for some reason like some like knockoff iPad Android 20 pound tablets and he left and that was like it and everyone else that came in had a little look and just went and it was like nowhere near as busy even like it was just not busy at all there was like four people came in as usual but they bigged it up like it would be a fight and i was flipping scared going into that day of work but anyway that's besides the point black friday in america however it's exciting it's riveting there are lots of good bargains and dolls kill 50 percent off everything everything so i saw that and i thought damn girl it's time to buy if I'm gonna do a Dolls Kill haul, this is the one. This is where I've got to do it. So yeah, you would have seen in my other Lazy Eye video that I did. Come watch that if you haven't, please watch the ad fully because I could do with some cash. But I got the Studio Ah oh, Hodge Pinafore Lazy Eye dress for like half the price. So it's like 30 quid, which was amazing price for Lazy Oaf. So now I'm just gonna stop rambling on about my life history and we're gonna get straight into what you clicked on the video for, the clothes. So the first item we have is a lovely mesh top. And by the way, all these items I had in my wish list on Dolls Kill for flipping ages, but I decided now it's time for the sale. Let's just get our whole down wish list and see if, it re if my wish really is a good wish. This is a mesh top. It's uh, got this kind of anime, cool manga print. I have one of their other mesh tops, which is a cherub one, and that is lovely. It's so nice. It was so cheap, and it is so, so cute. And I think these are great for, like, layering as well. Wear a nice cami top underneath it. Wear a nice um, t-shirt with some sort of print on to match. It could just looks really nice. So, yeah, I really love this. I think it's really soft and cute. I got this in a small... And I don't normally get a small in sugar frills because I find their clothes quite undersized, is that a word? They're just kind of tight on me. So I normally go for a medium, but they only have a small left. So I just thought, let's get it. Worst case, someone else will buy it on Depop and I'll be fine. But it fits me fine. It's lovely. And the thing, um, I actually spoke about this in my Patreon live stream um, in December. I do monthly live streams every month on the Patreon. So if a Patreon interests you, help support the channel, help support me. I'll link it down below and you can have a cheeky look. So um, we talked about this top and I kind of said that, does it look a bit cheeky? Does this look almost a bit sexual, do you think? Is it like one of those sexual manga animes? Because look, her face is like, and then it's a little bit of, a little bit of thigh, a little bit of butt, a little bit of legs, you know, having the ice cream, having a cry. Does it look a bit, a bit like risque? 
And there's one of, like, just her bust. Look, just her boobies there. So I don't know if it looks a bit sexual. You can let me know in the comments if it does look a bit cheeky, but I'm still gonna wear it because it is dang cute. So we have another mesh top as well. And this is a bloody lovely. I ordered this and kind of thought, you know what, chuck that in as well. Let's get another mesh top because they were so cheap. And now that I've got it, I flipping love it. I didn't realize how much I would love this piece. So it's got all these cool rainbows on and moons and melty planets and stars and lollies. It's like a candy space rainbow adventure and I'm all for buckling up on that rocket. So <laughs> it's really cute. The colour's lovely. It's the same. It's size small. It fits the same. It has this same like frilly sort of ruffledness on the sleeves and on the bottom. It's the same and it's flipping very, very cute. So another one to recommend. I recommend to you. So this next item, I didn't actually get them from Dolls Kills, so this is just the biggest lie ever, isn't it? But this is um, was part of Black Friday anyway, and I know they actually do sell this on Dolls Kills, so I mean, what does it even matter? I brought this from Spoiled Brat, and it is a bright pink t-shirt, and at the time when I was on Dolls Kill, I thought, uh, I'm going to leave it, I should probably stop now, but I went back and I got this from Spoiled Brat instead, so I got it from a UK brand. It is from Ragged Priest which is pretty cool. I think it's a small, yeah, it's a size small. It is humongously oversized and it has this really cool print on that says living the dream. And then the bottom it says, but the dream is a nightmare. <laughs> so I love it. It's quite, you know, uh, I don't know, like sassy, like playing on quotes and stuff. But yeah, I think it's so cute. And I just love this pink, this proper bubblegum pink. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I know that's on Dolls Kill. So you can buy it from there or you can buy it from Spoiled Brat. I'll link them down below if you're in the UK. It's probably easier to buy from them. So the next item that I have is from the Hello Kitty collection. I loved the Sanrio Tom's Dolls Kill collection. I thought it was really cute. Some of it wasn't really my style because it was more black and dark and gothic and, you know, kind of cool and edgy, which isn't really me. I want the pastels. But I've got this um, adorable frog, Carapai, is that his name? I hope that's his name. I was going to be really embarrassed. But I love frogs. This frog in, in particular, I think is so, so dang cute. He's got his little bow tie on. They're like um, patches. So they're quite, they feel quite funny to be honest, but I still think it's very cute. It's very soft. It's the perfect froggo, bright green. And I've got this in a small, but all I would say is that this fits me perfecto mondo everywhere. But the neck, it's like, they might have got some tips from Lazy Oaf on this neck because it's the same sort of I'm dragging it and yanking it on and feeling as though I've been rebirthed again. <laughs> the people with giraffe necks made this and it is quite tight on the old noggin when I put it on. But I still think it's so cute that I will just go with the pain because this is flipping cute. Who doesn't want a happy froggo on their chest looking all happy, enjoying his life with the blushy cheeks? I love him. He's so cute, so soft. 10 out of 10 for that one. So next up, I have two t-shirts. They're basically the same fit. They're both baby tees. So I only recorded me wearing one because I'm not gonna lie, trying on all the clothes, taking them off, trying on, it's hard work. Okay, so <laughs> forgive me for only putting one t-shirt on. So this first one, it's got this cherub on. It says emotionally exhausted and the cherub is shredding a little tear. So I love this. I think it's cool layered with a mesh top as well. I think it's really, really cool. I think I'm going to wear this with my cherub top um, underneath because I think that will look very, very cute. Um, I love the fit of this. This is a small. I mean, no, this is a medium. I got it in a medium because it looked quite snug on the model and this is snug on me, the medium. So definitely size up. So I do really love this t-shirt. It is a size medium, so definitely size down in this one. Um, this fits me perfectly as a size A. It's a really flattering, kind of tight fitted fit. Fitted fit, is that even, doesn't even make sense. But I love it and the fabric's really soft. It's just really damn cute. So it is cropped, but I do quite like how it's the right length for me, I believe. So this next one is, um, it's a little bit creased because that's just who I am as a person. And um, it's a strawberry milkshake top and it has like the cute Japanese writing on it, cute little two strawberries. And this is also medium and it's basically the same fit as the other one. It's very, very cute, lovely for layering again. And it's just, I love them little happy strawberries having an absolute blast. Very, very cute. There's nothing on the back, it's just plain on the back, but I think it's great. I love just some plain crop tops, pair them with your big chunky cardigans, layer them over things. 
I just think they're flipping cute and you can't go wrong. So this last piece is the creme de la creme that I've been thinking about this piece for so dang long because I just think it's beautiful and brilliant and perfect for me. Again, it's pastel block. And again, I'm asking myself, do I really need more pastel block? The answer is no, it's always no. But here I am with more pastel block. No one can stop me, not even the police. So um, yeah, it's a pastel block rainbow uh, jacket, denim jacket. I decided against buying it for a while because I thought I've just got too many, but when I saw it at half price, I thought um, I cannot resist. I simply cannot resist this. So I went and brought it and I have no regrets. I brought it in a size small, which fits me. Lovely, to be honest, it looked quite oversized. So I thought I could probably get away with a small and I did. As you can see, it's got lovely colors. So we've got this lovely pastel yellow, like lemony yellow, nice mint green, a blue and purple and pink. And the sleeves are two different colors. I just love the patchwork on it. It is so cute and soft and the colors are just perfecto mondo. The only thing I noticed, I've not tried to get this off yet because I've not worn it just yet. But here, look, it has these little dang pen marks where the buttons were gonna go, look. You see that? Who are these? So I need to try and clean these because it probably is just fabric mark and it would just come off if I clean it. But still, I was like, uh, excuse me, dolls kill. What's going on here then? But I still think it's cute. I'm not actually too sure about these silver buttons. Wouldn't it have been cute if they did like pastel rainbow buttons or some cute buttons, heart shaped buttons? I don't know, the silver's a bit boring, isn't it? But the rest of the jacket is so cute that I just couldn't resist and I do love it. It's fantastic, it's fabulous, it's pastel, it's everything I could dream of. So yeah, the last two items are accessories. So the first thing we've got is my silly little strawberry fanny pack bum bag, whichever you kiddos want to call it. This is very cute. I've actually had this a while. I brought this a couple of months back. I think it's the dang cutest thing in the world. Obviously, you just tie it around yourself and keep all your bits and bobs in it. It's a bit silly. People will probably laugh at me on the streets for wearing this, but it's so cute. And you know what? It's handy having a little bum bag and putting your dog's treats in it and their poo bags or putting in some snacks for yourself. You know, it's just good to have keep all your essentials. I ain't got to get in my backpack and get me snacks out. They're right here. I can just get them out. I'm ready. The chocolate is ready to go. And the strawberry, obviously, is very, very cute. As you can see, it's kind of see-through. So, well, it is see-through. So don't put anything too cheeky in there because the world will see it. There you go. Beautiful strawberry for when you're feeling fruity. So the last item are some earrings and these are bloody beautiful. They're from a brand called No Basic Bombshell and I've been eyeing these, specifically these earrings up for so long and I had no idea they'd be on Dolls Kill. I was looking on the actual website and then I came across them and I thought, what sorcery is this? This is magical because now I've got them a lot cheaper than I would have done. But how cool are these? Look, big cloud earrings. They're so beautifully made. Um, yeah, they're really, really cute. Big old hoopy earrings, very thick, but I love, oh, just love statement acrylic jewelry so much. I'm obsessed. And these, why do I do this? Just hold things. Can you imagine if I just flipping broke them? I could write that in the description though, couldn't I? I mean, the title could be like, I dropped what? Emotional. <laughs> There they are. Beautiful earrings. <laughs> I would have actually cried if they had broke. Um, really cute. I love acrylic jewellery. I love big statement pieces and I love handmade jewellery as well. So this ticks all the boxes. It's big. It's beautiful. It's clouds. I love them. So that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try and do less hauls now because um, clothing and buying too many clothes and fast fashion is terribly bad. And I got into kind of a bad habit of buying too many clothes so I'm here in 2020 to stop that habit. I'll still do fashion videos and I might do a haul now and again, but definitely not as rapidly coming as they were last year. They're going to have a nice gap between now before I do a haul video. So there you go. There's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favourite item was, uh, what you brought. Did you buy anything from the Black Friday haul? And um, let me know what your favourite type of rodent is. Mine's the guinea pig. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day, your night, your evening, whatever time zone you're in. Remember to stay hydrated, get plenty of sleep, and love yourself always. Goodbye.